When it comes to stopping hair loss completely, only a few treatments are really proven to work. And if you're watching this video, you may already know about some of them. The Derma Roller, Minoxidil and Finasteride. These treatments allowed me to regrow almost all my hair back in an insanely short amount of time. But there's another treatment that is the holy grail in stopping hair loss that is much better than any of the other treatments, which is Dutasteride. Many of you have been asking me to do a Dutasteride update because some months ago I started taking Dutasteride once a week for my hair. And that's what I'm going to do today. You will see Dutasteride's hair results and I will give you my most honest opinion about it. Hi there, my name is Al Garrido and welcome to another video. In this channel I talk about hair growth tips that allow you to regrow your hair, all without having to have a hair surgery with crappy results. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for the most important updates and smash that like button. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm and allow me to continue doing these videos for you. So first of all you should know why I decided to add this treatment into my hair routine a few months ago. If I was already using Finasteride, Minoxidil and the Derma Roller with good results, why did I decide to start using also Dutasteride? If you didn't know, Dutasteride is very similar to Finasteride. It stops the production of the hormone DHT which is the hormone that causes hair loss. This graph shows it very well. If you take 0.5 milligrams of Dutasteride a day, which is the normal dose, you will suppress around 90% of the hair loss hormone DHT. That is impressive and enough to really stop your hair loss. So if hair loss runs in your family like your father or grandfather were bald, then chances are that you have genetic hair loss. But after taking this treatment, Dutasteride daily, you can see incredible hair regrowth in the areas where you were previously bald. Unlike Finasteride, however, Dutasteride has not yet been approved by the FDA as a treatment against hair loss. Its first use was meant to treat enlarged prostates in older people. However, most doctors already know about its benefits for hair loss and would probably prescribe it to you if you decide to start using it. But that didn't answer the question. Why did I decide to start taking Dutasteride on top of the other treatments if I was already having good hair results? The answer comes from this case study conducted in Australia a few years ago. This man had hair thinning in the crown area on top of his hair. He was prescribed Finasteride for hair loss and six months later he showed significant improvement, as you can see here. But four years later his hair was worse again. Basically, Finasteride stopped being effective, which is something that happens very often to people. So Finasteride can essentially slow down hair loss, but never entirely stop it forever. So his doctor decided to experiment a little bit and give him a combination of Finasteride and once a week do Tasteride to see if this could improve his hair situation and essentially it did. After taking two Tasteride once a week in combination with the Finasteride, the patient showed incredible results. Even better results than before as you can see in this picture. I'm leaving a study down in the description if you want to check it out. Now I had a very similar thing happening to me. I also took Finasteride for four years with excellent results but then I started noticing that my hair was falling back again. So I started using the Derma Roller with Minoxidil to improve my hair situation. That is by the way how I started this YouTube channel to motivate you guys and tell you there are things you can do about your hair loss. So basically I have a very aggressive hair loss and therefore I decided to do the same as this patient and take two tests right once a week in combination to the other treatments to improve my results in the long term. Now I'm not saying that you should go ahead and do the same. If you're already taking Finasteride and it works for you, then I see no reason why you should take Dutasteride on top of it. That is what I call overkill. I would only recommend Dutasteride if you have a very aggressive hair loss like mine and you should also try first the other treatments such as Minoxidil or the Derma Roller first before jumping on starting Dutasteride. Check the description down below if you want to see where to get them. Now to answer the most common questions, did I have any sexual side effects of taking Dutasteride? No, I have never experienced any sexual side effects or any other side effect from taking Dutasteride or Finasteride. These side effects such as erectile dysfunction or low libido are very rare, but of course they can occur to some people. However, my advice is that you shouldn't worry too much about them. Scientific studies have demonstrated that these sexual side effects only appear 
on a 2% of the population taking these treatments. The second most important question, did taking Dutastrate affect my beard growth? <laughs> I think I don't really need to answer this one. My beard is great as you can see and the beard growth is as normal as it can be. At last, what were my Dutastrate hair results after taking it? This is the most difficult question to answer because I'm also taking these other treatments such as minoxidil or the dermarola which of course also help to regrow my hair i would say though that the test right is helping me to maintain my current state of hair which is what i need right now so that is why i will continue taking it once a week as for my hair it has never been as good as it is today to think that when i was 19 i had worse hair than now being 26 years old is crazy but if you want to learn my step-by-step -step guide on how to stop your hair loss click on this video to see how i did it until next time i wish you a happy hair journey adios